Okay, what we're doing here today is we've invited a couple of friends to come out and help us clean up. Uh, over, over time of us doing different workshops and just building, uh, the place has kind of gotten a little bit out of control with material, trash, things of that nature. So what we're doing is uh, we're just finishing up some lunch here, leftovers from Thanksgiving, and uh, then we're going to get back to it. <clears throat> These are hydration pits. Uh, what we do is we put dry clay inside of these pits, uh, fill it with water, allow that clay to uh, become softened and a lot easier to use. Uh, as you can see right now, we've been it's been sitting here for quite a while. It's got a lot of leaf and uh, pine needle litter on top of it, but that stuff's easily raked off the top. Uh, we add water to it or we add more clay to it depending on what it needs. And we've got another one sitting over here. And uh, it makes the clay a lot easier to use, and that way you're not having to fight uh, either large clots of clay and break them down or uh, try to grade out uh, thin and, and dry grain, uh, clay grains to use. Yeah, just uh, tell me a little bit about this, uh, this structure here. Well, well this, uh, this building started out as a uh, bungalow for Graham Robertson. Um, he designed this himself. Uh, we went back over his design and made sure that everything was going to be feasible and uh, nothing's changed on his design except for the roof, how the roof meets here. Uh, past that everything else is his design. Uh, That's just a little sleep chamber up there at the top? Yeah, we've got a, a little small loft up there. It's just big enough for a uh, single bed, one of your regular, um, what do you call those? The Queen mattress or? Uh, no, the twin. The twin, twin mattress, okay. yeah. And uh, it's about five foot at the peak, uh, so there's not much headroom for standing. But uh, basically, what we'll end up doing is from right here from uh, this post, there's going to be a small two foot stair section that goes up through this opening, and then he'll be able to access his bed. Uh, and and then, then, so just tell me real quick how you're going to finish these walls out here. Describe <clears throat> right. that process again. Sorry, you already okay. did it earlier today. <laughs> uh, what we do here is, uh, if anyone's familiar with what we did in South Dakota, uh, we fill the cavity of the pallets with uh, a mixture of clay, a clay slip and, and straw. We pack the cavities. It's called light straw clay. And um, uh, once this is completely packed in and dry, then we come back over it with uh, uh, a cob mixture fill in the gaps in between here uh, in between here and make it a flat surface then we use chicken wire over the top of that to give the earthen plaster something to grab hold of originally we were hoping that the clay would be able to stick to the wood at least enough to be able to hold but we found out that uh, over time it will start to separate and we don't want that so the chicken wire really Perhaps helps there. keep okay. holding it cool All what we're going to do here once we're done on the outside is It'll be the same method inside. Uh, it'll have an earthen plaster. It'll have obviously first chicken wire, then an earthen plaster. Uh, once the earthen plaster is done, we're going to go over that with a lime plaster, which is basically going to be lime, water, sand, and a posalon of, of some type. Um, once that dries, then we'll go back over it with what's called a lime wash, which is just lime and water mixed into a milk consistency then you can add uh, uh, pigments, uh, any kind of like an oxide pigment, powderized pigment to it, turn it into a, whatever color you want and then uh, paint it over it and it, it looks really great. Uh, there's no toxic chemicals involved in it, uh, there's no off gassing, it's all natural materials that are just re reconfigured to make a paint out of. Actually it goes back, I mean cave paintings were done with this. Cool. So.